Alright, so I didn't intend to make a video today because it poured rain last night. But, um, I casted my little, um, egg sucking leech fly. And it probably had like three seconds in the water before this little guy just slammed it. So I'm just gonna release him and give it another cast on camera, see if anything happens from the second cast. But, I mean, he took it like on the drop pretty much you can see he really got that fly it'll rearrange itself once it hits the water but there he is all right let's see if i can get another one on the second cast because that was the first cast so who knows what will happen next all right this was hard to get off the ground if you don't have much leader out or fly line you can see it's got a really nice jiggling motion. I can see why it's really attractive to bass. Alright, so it's looking like nothing yet, but I'll get some more clips as soon as I catch one. Alright, so right here again, the same thing happened. Just as soon as I cut the film on my second cast after that, this guy just came in and crushed it again. And they really like this fly. It has a really realistic swimming motion. And I like it a lot. I just did it with like an orange bead and zonker strips on it. But yeah, you can see that's actually a fair sized bass. So now I'm going to keep filming for a bit longer this time. And see if anything happens. You may not be able to see it because I have polarized glasses on. But this thing has just absolutely incredible action. I mean, I just gave it a few casts and it got slammed. I'm going to start moving down this the little shoreline on my pond. We've had some pretty heavy off and on wind. See, I spooked one. But it seems to be moving in this direction. So I think this bank is where the fish are going to be holding on to. And, um, yeah, I've seen some. The water visibility is way down from where it usually is because of the insane rain we had last night. But give it a day or two and it'll be right back up. So, yeah, I'm just going to walk on by. The dock where I have my stuff right now. And just continue down. And um, there's usually a fair amount of bass on this area. So I think I'll get something on camera. I'm just going to go to the corner where it's a bit shaded. And cast along that border. See what happens. Alright, I'm just swimming the fly. Just sort of parallel to the shore. As parallel as I can get right now, being on the shore myself. Alright, I'm just going to bring it down here. And I'm just going to give it a cast or two more before I cut the film. <laughs> but honestly... That'll be right when I get one again. So. <laughs> Alright, got it on a little stick. Okay, I got off of that. Alright, one last cast before I cut the film. Hopefully something will happen here. Alright, it looks like nothing's happening there. Which is just perfect, so... I'll get back to you as soon as I catch something else, which which that'll be really soon, so I'll get a good bit of footage for this video. Alright, so here we go. I got yet another. I saw him a few times and just kept casting for him, and um, eventually he took. I mean, he was pretty aggressive with it, too. I mean, yeah, you can see he got the hook really well. So, yeah, this is my third of the day right now. And it's going pretty good, so yeah, I'll get back to you when I catch another one. Alright, I've got yet another one here, and um, I believe this is my fifth of the day. This one's 
not bad at all, so I'm just going to come down here and land him. He's trying to swim off. He's got a little bit of injuries on his head or something, like just a little mark. And then something on his side, you can see there. So I'm not sure what happened to him. He, it looks like he probably was attacked by a bigger fish or a turtle or a bird when he was a lot smaller. There's a blue heron that swims around here. And if I had to guess, I'd say that's probably what it was. Just the little blue heron tried to take him. I know they'll take fish when they're, um, when they're vulnerable. When I fished saltwater in Florida, I had a pelican take a little whiting that I had released. So, yeah, I'm going to get a little slow-mo release video on this guy, and that's about it. All right, that's going to be about it for today's video. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about fishing, that egg-sucking leech, which what I did is I just shook my rod tip a good bit while also stripping small amounts of line at a time. And that seemed to work well. I mean, I caught five bass, lost a few more. So it went well. When I fished those, I cast them fairly deep and kind of strip it faster until I can see the fly so that I know when I have a solid take. And yeah, that's that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, um, be sure to like and subscribe and check out my Instagram at Flies and Finesse.